All right, so I just wanted to come out here and make this video because we are in 2024, right? We're past the point of quote unquote talking points. We're past the point of regurgitating the same things. I think it's time to look at the facts, right? And so sometimes people use this term to gaslight. They use this term to say, well, look at what men are doing, you know, while simultaneously still dealing with the same men, still you know, not highlighting as much the important things. So I wanted to make sure that part of the what I did on here was come out and actually talk about what's really going on. And hopefully we can come up with solutions and ways to start having the conversation so that these things don't just continue to go on. You know, there's some things we can blame on the white man, white supremacy, whatever you guys want to call it today. But there's other things that internally we have to deal with. And I think this is one of them. So I'm going to read this article because I thought it was beautifully put. Um, this is a local paper. Um, but I think they did the work to um, sort of look at how crime has been increasing and specifically how black femicide has been increasing. So I'm going to read this. This is by Mary Alice Miller. And this is Our Time Press. I will be linking everything that I um, cover so far. So this article will be in the link in the video and you guys will be able to look at it and also be giving credit to the writers. I am going to have to go back in a lot of videos and give credit to people who I've covered so far. far but as I do pre-recorded content, I will make sure that those links and stuff are in the description. So. This is the story that she wrote, and specifically, she's talking about um, the pan, uh, the panorama, I should say, right? That was one of the bigger things that recently happened. Um, time kind of slowed down, things shifted, and now we're kind of going in a complete direction. So, this is going to start out with the deletion of a young mother. So, Aziza Johnson was... Um, pew pewed in the head at close range in June 2020 as she pushed her baby in a stroller on the Upper East Side. After an investigation, police arrested her boyfriend, Isaac Argo, age 22, and charged him with murder and criminal possession of a weapon. Isaac was the father of her three-month-old baby. In October 2020, Danielle Parker, 29, was shot in the neck outside of her family's apartment on Dumas Avenue in East New York. The pew-pew uh, the occurred after a series of texts from former tenants of Danielle's mom that taunted Danielle to come outside. Danielle was on life support at Brookdale Hospital and pronounced deleted six days later. Danielle had a four-year-old daughter at the time of the shooting. These incidents are part of, part of an epidemic of Black women being deleted by people they know. According to the CDC, homicide is one of the le leading causes of deletion for women aged 18 to 44. Nearly half of victims are, are uh, deleted by a current partner, current, current or former, in, former intimate partner. Non-Hispanic Black women experience the highest rates of homicide. Over half of all homicides were intimate partner violence. This is IPV. It's one of the newer terms to describe domestic violence. Um, and 11% of victims of IPV-related um, deletion experienced some form of violence in the month preceding their deaths, with argument and jealousy being common precipitating circumstances. 15% of reproductive age victims were pregnant or up to six weeks postpartum. In 2020, 1,821 black women and girls, um, an average of five each day, an increase of over 33% over, um, over 2019. That was an additional 461 black women and girls, the lead in 2020 compared to 2019, an increase of more than one additional deletion per day. The largest number of homicides occurred in the Midwest, particularly in Wisconsin and Missouri. The COVID-19 shutdown made it difficult for victims to escape to domestic violence shelters. The anti-violence initiative generally focused on black men and boys with an emphasis on how cops and robbers negatively impact their lives. 
the number of black females shot and killed by their husbands or intimate acquaintances was nearly four times as high as the total number um, deleted by male strangers using all weapons combined. In 2019, black females accounted for 14% of the female population in the United States, while 28% of the females deleted by males in single victim or single offender incidents where the race of the victim was known were black. A 2021 report from the Violence Policy Center found that black women deleted by men are nearly always killed by someone they know, most commonly with a gun. Compared to a black male, a black female is more likely to be killed by her spouse, an intimate acquaintance, or a family member um, than by a stranger. The vast majority of homicides of black females murdered by males were not related to any other felony crime. Most often, black females were killed by males in the course of an argument. The lack of national attention on black women and girls homicide prompted Rosa Page, a nurse in Arkansas, to form Black uh, Femicide Prevention Coalition, formerly called Black Femicide U.S., to document the black women deleted and the circumstances surrounding their deaths. Black Femicide Prevention Coalition was started because I felt there was a need to tell the stories of the scores of black women who are deleted within the community. Our murders are grossly overlooked by both the media and community at large, said Page. It is important that these women and girls are recognized because in today's political climate, as well as before the recognition that black women and girls are deleted in such high numbers, is a reality that the community chooses to ignore. Deletions committed by law enforcement are more media worthy. The public needs to remember those these women um, because their lives matter too. The disturbing trends that stand out to me are visibly pregnant women being deleted, as well as an increase in murder deletions uh, coupled with family annihilation. Page said family annihilation is when the perpetrator of the deletion slash suicide decides to murder not only their parents or children and other not only their partners or children and other family members. In doing so, entire generations are gone. Page believes black women and girls homicides can be addressed through education, both of boys and girls. Boys must be taught that they are not entitled to girls and to their direct feelings from rejection by talking to someone or learning effective coping mechanisms, said Paige. And for girls, they need to understand that physical or mental abuse is not a form of jealousy that shows love. This is toxic behavior, and they need to be and they need to tell someone immediately. It's important that this is taught from early on so that this is not normalized as they get older for both genders. Paige added, I am passionate about this work because I see it both from a professional as well as a personal standpoint. As both a mother of four daughters and a nurse, I am constantly faced with the importance of teaching self-worth and undoing the cultural teachings passed down through generations. Black women and girls must realize that it's okay to put themselves first. So I thought this was just kind of beautifully written. You know, she kind of captured all that's been going on, you know, since 2019 at least. And I think that's a far enough marker, right? We're in 2024 now, which is about five years since then. And it's only been going up, you know? So I'm really curious to see and not curious in a good way, but I'm curious to see, you know, what the rates are gonna be coming now that we're kind of going out of the panorama, right? There's no crises going on. Have the numbers decreased? Are things getting worse? You know, I think if until we decide to start having conversations about this and sort of being real with each other, this isn't going to change. We can't blame this on anybody else. This is an internal issue. This is a lack of value for the people who look just like us. <laughs>